Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do another cocktail out of this 1934 cocktail manual called My New Cocktail Book by Mr. Steele. It is signed by the author and it's an interesting compilation of cocktails from all over the world. And you can tell that he's compiled this book because the recipes are given with different measuring amounts. Um, some of them are given by 50%, 50%. Some of them are given by one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. Some of them are given by actual ounces and jiggers and so on and so forth. So he's gone out, he's compiled all of these recipes, put them in a book. And there's no method to any of them. It's just a list of ingredients. Um, there's no method, there's no how to garnish them, what to put them in. Leaves it up to you, as the person making these at home, how you actually want to put them together. So this is called The Little Devil. Um, it has lemon juice in it, so I am going to say that I'm going to shake this cocktail. So we're going to start out half ounce of lemon juice in each. I'm going to make two cocktails uh, slightly differently. So same amount of lemon juice in each one. Then it calls for Cointreau. But I'm sure you could use any Curacao or orange liqueur that you wanted or liked. It calls for one ounce of Bacardi rum, and it calls Bacardi out by name. So we will use Bacardi. Then it calls for a half ounce of dry gin. It doesn't call it a brand by name, so I'm just going to use two that Julie and I really like um, that always seem to work in these cocktails. And I need, oh, I need one ounce. That was a half ounce. Okay, so... Am I going to have enough? Just barely. And we'll switch to a different jigger. This is Ungava. This is a Canadian gin. It's made with botanicals from the northern forests of Quebec. Um, this is Dylan's gin. It's also a Canadian gin and it's made with rye. We really like both of these. And ice. And shake. Hey, Jules. Hey, Glenn. Hey, friends. Okay. What have we got today? This is the little devil. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Made two ways. One with Ungava and one with the Dillons. Okay. Let's give it a go. See what happens. I'm not sure. Oh, this has that banana smell. Wow, those are really different. Yeah, they are. Which one do you prefer? This one I find almost lacking in any flavor, but bit, except for the banana smell. A little bit flat. I don't, did you get the banana smell? I didn't get the banana smell, but but I know what you mean. It's a it's a little bit flat. It's, it doesn't challenge you. You sort of swallow it and you go, yeah, okay, that was. This one's got flavor, like big flavor, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. But I'm not sure it's one that I truly enjoy. It's not awful. It's not that like. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah. I, but I, I, I'm yeah. super fond of it. It has, I think it, I wouldn't it's jump out, lemony. I wouldn't jump out to have it again. No. I do get the orange undertone. Lemon, boom. Orange undertones sort of there in the aftertaste. Um, it could use with a little bit of sweet. That might be what it's missing. Now the Cointreau does have sugar in it. It is a liqueur. It does have sugar. But when we did that tasting, it was one of the ones that was lowest on the sweet scale. So if you chose a different Curacao, <sighs> it would good... be a little bit sweeter. And that may change the flavor yet again. That's what makes it so hard, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many variations, variables, sorry. Yeah. There's so many variables. 
Yeah. Just... And I mean, there's a dozen Bacardi white rums to choose from <laughs> that have different flavors. And, and, you know, so again, we get into that situation, but I don't, I mean, it's, I, it's not really for me. It's not one that I have a second one of. No. 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 I, no. Oh, okay. Well. So the little devil. Eh, maybe. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Hope that fly didn't come through. Yeah, it came through a couple times. Dag nabbit. <laughs>